What's going on everybody and welcome to the final PS4 news of 2019. I'm Waterfields1. If you're new around here and you want to stay up to date with everything PlayStation, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty hard to warrant making this video. There are a handful of stories to report on, but with that said, let's do it. First up this week, Rhythm role-playing game Patapon 2 looks set to launch on the PlayStation 4 very, very soon. Artwork has been discovered on the PlayStation Store suggesting the game's inevitable release. Now this does fall in line with the same leak as Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 3's artwork was discovered on the PlayStation Store and the game was then announced a couple of weeks later. So yes, it does look very, very likely that Patapon 2 will be launching on the PS4 very soon. How does some free DLC for God of War sound? Pretty good? Yes, it does. However, the free DLC up for offer is just everything that was offered when you pre ordered the game. It's pretty awesome, there's a new set of armour, there's a load of shield skins that you can now download for free. They are available to download until the 6th of January, so if you do want to have a little bit of a freshen up on God of War, you can get yourself some free content right now, and that's available until the 6th of January. Death Stranding Patch 1.08 is now live, and it allows lead character Mr. Sam Porter Bridges to play out his ever fantasy as Santa Claus, because this patch will allow you to wear Wear a Santa hat. Yes, you can wear the iconic red and white hat as you deliver stuff on Death Stranding. So yeah, Death Stranding patch 1.08 with the Santa hat is now live. Sucker Punch have released a free theme based on Ghost of Tishushima. It's actually pretty cool. You need a code to download it, which is on the screen right now with the allocated regions. The codes are going to stay on the screen for the next 10 seconds, so scribble them down, go onto the PlayStation Store and download your free theme based on Ghost of Tishushima. The final story of the week is your final multi-platform game sales chart for 2019 and in at number 10 we've got Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, number 9 is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, number 8 is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, number 7 Just Dance 2020, number 6 Pokemon Sword, number 5 Luigi's Mansion 3, number 4 Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, number 3 Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, number two, FIFA 20, and number one, ending out 2019 on top is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. There you have it, that's it for another week of PlayStation 4 news, and that's it for the PlayStation 4 news for 2019. I told you I was struggling to warrant making this video. Nonetheless, if you're new around here, please do subscribe, turn notifications on, and feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Now, I was going to do a highlights of PlayStation 4 the year, however, PlayStation Europe did a much better job than I can, so I'm going to put that video in at the end of this, so please do watch and enjoy that because it's pretty awesome. There's a number of games that I forgot released this year, so it's a great reminder. And you know what? 2019 wasn't that bad of a year. I mean, I sat here last week and was like, this was a rubbish year, but actually, it was pretty solid. It was pretty solid as a year. 2020 should and is going to be amazing. We all know that already. But as I said, enjoy New Year. Happy New Year. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the amazing support. The channel has literally doubled in size this year, which is incredible. So thank you. Thank you all. Enjoy the video. I'm Waterfields1. See you later. I'm a raging bull, mama didn't raise
never, whoever I'm facing, planning while I'm in this. Does it matter if everyone else is dead?